Which high school friend took a path you didn't expect? The son of my teacher was a football player. Had a beautiful GF. They broke up before he graduated though. And was a procrastinator. Once he graduated. He went to work at a restaurant for a year and as far as I knew. He was going to attend college the next year but he had no idea of what his major was gonna be. I just found out two weeks ago he got accepted to a local seminary and is going to become a priest. A really nice and shy guy who liked Queen and played guitar a bit. Became a bass guitarist in number one rock band in Ukraine. Edit. It's Okin LZ. He's not in the band anymore. But has been playing for first 10 years. Probably the smartest guy in class but never actually paid attention or did his homework. Was always sleeping in class or doing his own thing or goofing off. Recently sold his startup for 8 figures and is now back to goofing off. He was 2 years younger than me. Absolutely brilliant and went to Stanford after high school. Died in his sleep from a heart attack at age 20 while visiting family in China. He had an undiagnosed heart defect. So yeah. That was pretty unexpected. R.I.P. Kevin. Best friend in high school. His stepdad was a district attorney and apparently they didn't get along at all. This was the Bible Belt Southeast. I met him in the 10th grade as I smoked weed and he happened to sell it. He lived in a trailer park and financed it with his weed sales. My parents hated him. After he graduated from high school while living 100% on his own. He did 2 years of collage before getting accepted in a major medical university program that actually paid him to be there. He is now a pharmaceutical engineer living in Switzerland. My parents were surprised to hear that. Guy who sat behind me in hometown. Was a good student. But not an intellectual superstar by any means. After I relocated to Eastern PA. Turns out he was in Western NJ. Multi-millionaire. Former CEO of a pharmaceutical company. Great guy. Super happy for him. But truly unexpected. Not me. But my cousin in the UK went to school with Dev Patel. Dev was apparently super into the drama club. And people thought he was too over the top. And kind of a try hard that would never actually be a professional actor. His success was definitely unexpected for people he knew back then. Based on what my cousin said. Lady Gaga's classmates started a Facebook group called You'll Never Be Famous Stephanie German Otter or something along those lines. Jokes on them. Not HS. But my best friend's freshman roommate was a weird guy. Brilliant. Literally 1600 SAT scores. Full ride. Brilliant. But never really showered. He was dating the sweetest. Kindest girl. Who dumped him after 2 months of trying to get him to take better care of himself and actually go out and do anything. We try to get him to come out of his shell because he was pretty funny and we liked the guy. After not hearing from him for 15 years. We looked him up. Apparently he co-founded Revolve Clothing. Is a multi-millionaire. And parties in Ibiza and Ch.T. I'm genuinely happy for the guy. But I never. Ever. Expected him to hit it big in fashion. High school meth dealer and local lunchroom pot cigarette vendor ended up being rumored senior year. Two months after graduation they both joined the Las Vegas PD. Switch team Wyoren. One dude who was always a dick to me but hung out with our friend group got expelled in high school for having legit chilled bar N on his phone. He moved cities and I didn't hear from him for years. Turns out he murdered an elderly gay man and is in jail now. One super shy quiet dude is now doing time for blackmailing girls and posting their nudes. Dude was the typical cocky douche to most people but we got along well enough. We're 25 now. And he moved to Vegas went bald. Put on about 100 pounds and is dating a 60 year old stripper. I was following until you said 60 year old stripper. I. I did not know that there exists senior strippers. Colon. Not really a friend as I didn't run with their crowd. But like at every school there was a really popular girl. Pretty. Cheerleader. Everybody liked her. Wealthy parents. Etc. 
I'm sure you knew someone like that yourself. Just maybe two or three weeks ago she got arrested and charged with several felonies for possession of meth. Prescription painkillers. And a large amount of weed. I moved away from that town years ago and haven't really kept in touch with a lot of the people from there. However a buddy of mine sent me a picture of the report in the newspaper and was like remember her. Definitely didn't expect it. That's for sure. Average guy at school. Dead through alcoholism by his mid-twenties. It was apparently asphyxiation that got him. My best friend since I was 5 years old. Smartest person I ever knew. She went off to college and got into heroin. She is now serving a life sentence for first degree murder. A girl I knew was a strict Christian and floated between groups of friends. Her judgmental side came out from time to time. Once I remember her telling a girl she was going to burn in the depths of hell for having a sex. I only know this because I was the lucky girl sitting between them when the other girl jumped over me to punch her. Anyway. After high school. I heard she met a guy. Stopped being a Christian and wrote all sorts of oversharing sexual statuses on Facebook. They got engaged and were hooked on drugs. She pawned her engagement ring for drugs and lived above a smoke shop out east. Good news. She's now off drugs. Married and has a daughter. Still posts over sexualized photos and statuses on Facebook. We're good on seeing you in lingerie suggestively laying on your husband. I feel like this is a common theme with children growing up in overly strict religious households. Once they get a little bit of freedom all hell breaks loose. Not a friend. But I went to middle and high school with a girl who went into acting. Became a power ranger. I had a friend in high school who was high achieving academically. He was in the top classes. Very nervous and well behaved in the classroom. Generally he was mostly thought of as quiet and a guy very few people paid any attention to. He's serving 8 years in prison for possession of drugs and child pornography. A friend of mine is a talented artist with a deep passion for video game design. He worked on projects for indie devs all through high school. And I thought it was certain he would quickly become an artist for some dev studios soon after. He now works as a furniture salesman. The quiet. Kinda nerdy guy in the back of my AP calculus class is now the CEO of Playboy Thailand. Had a friend that was the weirdest guy I'd met. He'd often yell random stuff for no reason. Do every kind of accent. And was just generally awkward around people. Saw him a few years after and he was dressed to the nines. Very clean cut. And socially well adjusted. Complete 180 from high school. Made me rethink all my life's choices up until that point. Since I was not doing so hot in life. Edit. I'm loving all the people wondering if I'm talking about them. Or someone they know. Chili da who took a heck of a turn. She was an impressive drinker in high school. She kept it up through college. Got a job. Didn't love it. She joined AA. Met a guy. Older. Had nice finances. Estranged from his ex-wife. Kids. No other family. They got married. A few months later. They're both drinking again. Within two years. He's dead. He left her everything. She is devastated. She goes back to AA. Met another guy. Apparently older men who are estranged from their families are super easy to find in AA. You got it. They're drinking. Next thing you know. He's dead. Left her everything. Now she's gone back to AA again. She has met the most wonderful man. It's a shame his kids won't speak to him and won't come to the wedding. It's next month. The prettiest girl in high school. Who was always nice to me, I was a bullied child, overdosed on heroin two years ago. I still cry for her. Elizabeth the badass party chick. She was the brilliant and quietly rebellious type. She was pulling and getting away with shti that most of the guys branded as troublemakers in school could only dream of. Because she had the sense and savvy to not show off to the world. She wasn't doing shti for the attention. She was just doing it because that's what she wanted to do. So smoking. Heavy drinking. 
Some drugs. Staying out all night. Whatever. She could outdo anyone else. Anyway a little over 10 years later I caught up with her and found out she was a triathlete and overall health nut. The most brilliant girl I knew. Second in our graduating high school. Was also one of the most lively and outgoing people I knew. She could befriend anyone. She was so fun and energetic and thoroughly enjoyed living life. I thought she was destined for so much success. She ended up passing away last year just a couple months shy of her 24th birthday after a lengthy, private, battle with cancer. When I found out about her illness it was already terminal. And when she passed away all I could think was how unfair it was that someone with so much potential. Someone who did everything right and life could die like that. Her death really got to me. And as the one year anniversary is approaching I constantly remind myself to make the most of every second of my life. Because hers was cut so short. This one kid I went to middle school with FR looked like the next school shooter. Wore the trench coat. Fedora. Occasionally a fashionable tail. He was a big guy. Nerdy looking. But then summer between 8th grade and freshman year. He got rid of his braces lost about 200 pounds and was the most attractive and popular kid in school. TBH wish I had that motivation. Maybe it was three kids in a trench coat. When I was 10 I sat next to the sweetest boy in our class. All the other boys I had sat next to in junior school were mild ass hats. I remember I lent him my Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory VHS and he lent me the Muppets Take Manhattan. We went to different high schools when we were 12. I heard that at 16 he had been arrested for armed robbery. I still can't believe it. What the hell happened to that kind and gentle boy between 12 and 16? Life. Sweet kids can get caught up and forced to dish tea by the wrong crowd quite easily. Girl in my high school was a terrible human being. Selfish and totally self-absorbed. I couldn't stand her. One of the shallowest. Nastiest people I knew. 20 years later she sacrifices her life trying to help save three children. Unknown to her. From drowning in a rip current at a local beach. A lot of them. I don't know if there was something in the water in our town. A lovely girl in my class had severe anorexia. To the extent she had to repeat the year. She was strikingly pretty. With the face of an angel. Always wondered if she felt self conscious and grew obsessed about her looks because it was what people valued. Nobody made the same fuss about her good grades or niceness. She is now morbidly obese. Couch surfing and pretty much always wears the same big brown coat and tracksuit pants. Was shocked to see her go from one extreme to the other. Still really nice. Hope it works out for her. Another high achiever in our class is now a traveling musician and nudist. She dropped out of engineering and just travels from festival to festival as a concert goer. Dressed as a barefoot rainbow fairy. Self funds by offering tarot readings. Spells. Palmistry. Lived by the creek for a while. Has a Pomeranian. A friend of mine was really into herself and dated a lot of rich guys. She vowed not to get married or have children that she had goals to become a business professional woman. She did some modeling etc. Fast forward 10 years. She gained 120 pounds and her husband left her for another woman and she is raising a disabled child that consumes all her time where she cannot work. I have to say that she is an excellent mother. She basically turned into everything she said that she would not be. Friend I'd know since freshman year, 9th grade, of HS. Home life wasn't stellar. Abusive step parent. Control freak mom. Etc. Joined the marines to escape. Met someone. Got married. Had like 4 kids and was expelled from service for medical reasons. Got divorced. Dad got full custody. So she moved back home and bounced around in a travel trailer with a younger boyfriend. Who stole his boss's business credit card before they bounced to lord knows where. Last time she surfaced. It was on Facebook and she was selling their wedding rings he'd purchased using the stolen credit card. It's a real shame how things went. She'd done well in the marines and even in the early years of her marriage. Not sure what the tipping point was. 
She was furious about losing custody but she wanted to uproot four kids from their home. School. Friends and dad's side of family to bounce around in a 13 foot travel trailer living off her $650 in disability. She absolutely refused to acknowledge how horrible that would have been for them. Just last night I went to a small theater to see Evil Dead. The musical. Stage walks a guy I haven't seen in 25 years. Crazy how small the world can be sometimes. There was this guy who bullied me and destroyed my self esteem on a regular basis. He became a really successful vegan chef. Has his own restaurant. Cookbooks. Has been on talk shows to cook promote his stuff. FCK him bro. A well off. Innocent looking white kid from my high school ended up covered in face tattoos and brandishing guns on the internet. Turns out. He joined a Mexican gang on the outskirts of our town. He ended up getting shot to death in a confrontation with another gang. In my graduating class of 149. We had 148 go to college. That one guy? He decided to go on tour with his band. The other members of the band were two guys that graduated from our school the year before. About 6 years later. They are still touring full time and have made a pretty good name for themselves. They've headlined their own tours and have opened for some big name bands. It's pretty cool to get to go to one of their shows and hang out with them backstage. Edit. For all those asking. The band's name is New Madrid. She was voted most likely to succeed in our year. Had plans on being a doctor. Really smart. Ended up staying in state for college. Pretty rural. Limits options. We lost touch. She got married. She's a stay at home mom and a trophy wife. Basically. Traveling the world on her. Doctor. Husband's dime. Not a bad life. Certainly. But not expected. Edit. I didn't mean to imply she's a gold digger or anything critical like that. She was the leader of clubs and teams during high school. And very pretty. And competitive with grades. So it's just interesting to me that so far she has been less ambitious career wise. She's definitely still very happy. Low achiever. Used to goof off in class all the time. Bit of a class clown. Used to tell everyone that her goal was to be a trophy wife so she could watch TV all day. Has shown her designs at Paris Fashion Week and has dressed several celebrities. You could have knocked me over with a feather when I was flicking through a copy of Vogue Australia on my lunch break and there was a 4 page article on her in there. I was so happy. She always had a heart of gold and I feel like her teen self was a reflection of what her family thought for her. She deserved to be much more than someone's wife. Very plain looking nice but quite girl I went to high school with. Never would had thought she would go on to become one of the top 20 supermodels of all time. Married a very famous rock star. She's a sweetheart. One of my dearest friends and checked in on me almost daily for close to a year. When I lost my daughter. Ladies man guy with a big ego. He was fun for about 5 hours before you needed a break from him. Anyway. He slept with like a good one stroke 3 of the cheerleaders. Had a 4 way with some girls on the volleyball team. Senior year he screwed a bunch of the drama girls. He loved hanging out with the drama girls. Slept with them all of the time and they became his flavor of choice. Turns out he cared less for the cheerleaders and drama girls and more about cheerleading and drama. Guy is in a gay PRNO now and does some off-Broadway shows. I would probably be a good post about this but since this isn't about myself here we go. A girl who was in the top 10 of my graduating class. Had plans to become a lawyer and probably would have succeeded seeing as how her mock trial team won state. Went to college and learned she enjoyed the arts much more. Briefly become an actress. But failed. Moved back home with her parents and started her own photography business but failed. Now she is a very successful burlesque dancer. While she has failed in many of her endeavors. I always admire her will to find something new to try. And the kid in our class who some of us were sure would become a mass murderer is now the fire chief of the local fire department. 
Most unexpected is the guy who lured someone into a park and murdered them. Equally surprising one is the guy who was pretty much morbidly obese from Y7, Y13 going off to join the army. He used to constantly try and escape from exercise at school. Then pass basic training. Comma equally surprising. Is it though? Very plain Jane kinda girl. Not promiscuous or especially outgoing or anything. After high school she started as an exotic dancer and has now gone on to make a pretty big name for herself in PRN under the name Nikki Benz. Almost every anarchist I knew ended up in the military. A friend of mine was a decorated student in high school. Top cadet in JROTC. Top 25 out of 500 students. Got a scholarship geared toward any STEM major. Gifted chemist. And on top of that he joined army ROTC in college to get in track to become a U. S citizen. He isn't documented. So what happened? He gave up everything to sell Herbalife and Amway thinking he will be a millionaire in 5 years. So much fking potential. Gone. I knew a girl who was pretty. But dumb as fking rock. Like she didn't know which color was for hot and which one was for cold from the water cooler. She went on to co-host a reality show. Which being pretty obviously helped. But. She was also only on for one seasons. For reasons I can only guess.